When you're ready to cite your sources in PictoChart, it's really pretty easy. I'm going to show you two ways. One, if you've used one of the pre-made templates, um, and one if you've created your own. Okay, so starting with the template, if you've used that, check at the bottom because there's probably something at the bottom that either says sources or references, or maybe there's just something small that's already there that you can add in or that you can adapt to be your source list. For example, this one says sources, and there's a box there. I just deleted what was there originally, and I'm going to go to EasyBib. I'm going to go to my bibliography, and I'm going to just make a list here. Um, check through to see, look, I've got some that are duplicated, so I'm going to delete um, that one, and I'm going to delete this one. So I make sure I have just the sources that I have included on my Picto chart. So for example, if you didn't use any information from this one on your Picto chart, you can delete that as well. Okay. Once you've got them all there, if you go to export, and then I like to just bring it up in copy and paste because then I can just see it right here. I'm going to go ahead and add them. Um, all, I'm going to copy them all right in here, but I'm going to actually delete the um, sources once I get in there um, just because I don't think we really need to have that on the, the piece. Okay, now that's probably too big, so I'm going to change the font size down. You can make them pretty small, like 12 or something. And then you see, I think this looks like it's centered, so I want to fix that and make it um, right justified. We're not, or left justified, excuse me. We're not going to worry about doing the um, doing the hanging indent on here because it's it's just going to be kind of difficult um, or possibly impossible. So I'm just going to delete the websites um, right here. And there we go. So we should see all of your sources there. They're in order. Perfect. So that's for um, adapting a box that's already there if you used a template like this one. If you've created one on your own, just from scratch, uh, you can put you can create your own re reference section at the bottom. So you see these tabs here. You can add an, an additional block. And um, if this is the one you want to put your sources in, you can move it down to the bottom. I'm going to move it all the way down. And there it is. Okay, so then you're just going to go to the text section. Um, probably use the body text. You're going to want it um, pretty small. And you can do the same thing that you did before. Um, you've got your, you can go export, copy and paste, paste it in, um, copy and paste it in and um, there you go. I would um, see then you can resize this box I think there whoop, there we go we're gonna drag it make it bigger we're going to um, make it left justified you want to make sure you don't just plop it in and leave it you want to make it look a little bit nicer so I'm making it bigger there um, then I might add another box um, that says sources, or I might just title it right above there after I've taken out all of these. So um, you see I've finished it out a little bit by making it look attractive, and once I finish the rest of my stuff, it will blend right in. I've got my little sources. I don't need to put works cited because that's something you do more in um, academic research papers. Um, so sources is something you might see more on a poster type thing. So uh, there you go.